House tonight, Governor Mike Pence and Republican legislative leaders say they're pleased with an historic investment in education in the budget. The spending plan for the next two years includes a $460 million increase for kindergarten through 12th grade classrooms. But both Republicans and Democrats admit the controversy over the Religious Freedom Act served as a distraction this session. I think the results of this session of the General Assembly speak for themselves. Uh, that in the days that, that followed, uh, that difficult week, uh, members of the General Assembly, in many cases in both political parties, simply rolled their sleeves up and went back to work. Democratic legislative leaders disagree on the impact of the law. They say the decisions in this session were a step backward for Indiana. Of course, not everyone is happy with that bump in funding for education. Tonight, growing suburban districts that have been complaining about their cut will get more money, but urban districts will get less. RTV6's Derek Thomas has more on the tale of two districts. Hamilton Southeastern School District Superintendent Alan Borf says the funding increase is long overdue. Next year, the district will receive $9 million more than they got this year. Because now we've seen what an NEM is, Adam's going to be these examples. Reducing the student-teacher ratio was one of the things the district would like to do. The district has 21,000 students and is still growing. Ideally, on the elementary level, they would like to have a 20 to 1 student-teacher ratio, and that has not been the case. And we've not replaced teachers or put teachers into place to accommodate some of our rising enrollment to the point that it would take a hundred teachers right now at Hamilton Southeastern to restore our class sizes to what they were in 2009. Meanwhile, at IPS, there is relief that the cuts weren't worse, but frustration that they will have to run the district minus $10 million that they have for this school year. Do legislators understand that impact? We deal with a very difficult population, children that don't speak English, children with special needs, children that come from homes. Uh, you know, where they don't have parents that can help them with their homework. So, you know, if we want to break the cycle of poverty, education is the way to do that. While IPS is lamenting cuts they will have to make, parents of Hamilton Southeastern students are celebrating the increase their district will receive. Uh, and they're going to get $9 million more. Dollars. Is that a good thing? Yes, I think so. It's going to be good because they are good. Now they will be a very, very good. Ultimately, the school board will decide. But in the meantime, parents, principals, and teachers will brainstorm on what they would like to do with the money. Derek Thomas, RTV6.